Welcome to Let's Play Rule the Ways 3 as Germany starting in 1935. It's January 1947 and we are at the start of a huge battle, well, hopefully a huge victory, with the majority of the German fleet and probably correspondingly most of the British fleet that's in home waters at the uh, western approaches to the British Isles. Our fleet is in three portions. Down here is a couple of carriers with their screens. Here are three carriers with their screens. And over here are the battle cruisers with their heavy cruisers and most of the light cruisers. The enemy is reportedly here. We are attacking a convoy, but actually we have radar sightings over here. If I uh, zoom in, you can see that a little bit of shooting has already started. And so I need to organize the response. The big question for me is where are these guys going to go? Are they going to head towards the northeast? Are they going to head towards the southwest? Or are they just going to plow on and try and car crash straight into me? My battle cruisers are here. You can see this is the torpedo range. And given that it's nighttime, this is the one that I'm scared of. So. Currently, we are about 18,000 from this heavy ship and 16, uh, nearly 17,000 from the destroyer. And the torpedo range seems to be something like 12,000 yards. We've only got 20 minutes of nighttime remaining. So it, it honestly doesn't seem like a good plan to needlessly engage too closely in a night flight when I will be able to see so much better at daylight. I have the Rune and the Blücher as two handy heavy cruisers there. And I'm tempted to send them northwards because that's where they seem to be going. And I will take the Graf Spey and the other battle cruisers westward. Uh, I'm going to take the Berlin, if I can, there it is, and take it off. IA and it's on support and it's on line ahead. That's fine. I'm going to send that sort of straight in a northwesterly direction just to keep any destroyers honest and not let them get, you know, cheeky or anything. And the Bremen down here is too far away, but I'd like to take that off and manually control that. Obviously, manual control at nighttime is a little bit problematic. Let's center ourselves back on the Graf Spey. Speed is limited to 28 knots, so it doesn't really matter. I've got them going at 25 at the moment. So let's just see how this resolves itself. Interested to see how much the British fleet is organized. Often they can be a bit of a shambles. I mean, mine, honestly, is a bit of a shambles. This does not like look like a well-formed night screening station. So, okay, so I've got some formations that are ready to fly. Since we've already got a target, and it'll take them some while to get up, it'll be daylight by the time they are over the target. So let's go over here and see where they are. Okay, there are two ready here. Let's get them off. I mean, yeah, it's... It's a bit ambitious. If I coordinate them, um, yeah, it's only going to take five minutes longer, so that's fine. And then they seem to be going in that kind of direction, so let's plonk it around about there and launch strike. Interesting. And I'm just going to go one more minute, and then I'm going to decide whether to turn the battle cruisers towards the rune or vice versa from the way it's looking now i think i need to ooh, and some more turn the battle cruisers towards the rune so let's do that i.e they're going in a northerly direction uh, let's sort out these guys and put them into support and into line ahead okay I'm just going to come out and check that somebody somewhere is providing cap. So, no. And if I go 
to here no as well so we definitely want them somebody to provide cap let's get them going and then zoom back in to what's going on here. I think Berlin and Friends is probably going to want to turn north as well. Otherwise, it will get tangled up with the battle cruisers and ruin their fire. And that would be shocking. We appear to have had some hits on that. Uh, yeah, a five inch gun against that. So fair enough. Well done, Berlin. And let's keep at it. Ah, there goes the rune out of control. More planes ready. The rune is heading radically towards us. We'll have to keep on checking that because we don't really want that to happen. And more too. Right. Hmm. For now, of course, they seem to be heading in a southerly direction as they resolve themselves. So our distance from these heavy ships is 15,000 yards. So, oh, there's a heavy cruiser that seems to have come in for some strange reason. Um, yeah, runes still can't see. But I'm going to launch a second strike at this more suddenly approach since the guys are doing the thing so let's see what we've got here we've got dive bombers all on the graph zeppelin it's an acceptable thing and we're going to take the target and we're going to push the target around about here so to the south and launch that strike from the Graf Zeppelin. Yep. Let's exit and then go back to here. I'm going to slow, oh, I was going to say slow the um, Bremen down because its force is all over the place. I'm going to turn it this way to give these other ships a chance to catch up. And yeah, let's just see how far. Yeah, no, they're definitely turning. Hmm, that is annoying. At least I'm in AI control again. Hooray. So I'm going to have to turn the Bremen and the Graf Spey. And given the distance, I'm going to turn the Graf Spey inwards. So we're all going to go this way. It's a little bit clumsy. Please fast forward if you don't want to watch a whole mash up of ships as they uh, get in each other's way. And I'll in fact take the Bremen uh, southwards as well. See if we can avoid collisions and all the rest of it. Yeah. So I'm almost tempted to hold off on fire because it's just going to be terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, hum. So, wouldn't surprise me if we don't score any hits on this, um, well, on anything really, uh, as we do this. The rune is just going to have to come out a little bit, otherwise, it's going to get in the way. That's a heck of a tight corner. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, that changes things. I completely didn't notice that. Uh, some of these have been identified and some of them are CVs. Could be light, could be big, but that makes them a much more interesting opportunity target. So that probably means we have to go around again and we've done some sort of weird Admiral BT circle that he claimed he never did. I think I think I can do that if BT can get away with saying no, no, I totally didn't um, go in a weird circular pattern. Then uh, I think we can too. Okay, and that means we have to bring the Bremen more straightforward. Sorry about this, guys. So they look like two big ships that I should be interested in. 
poor old destroyers are completely confused and they're heading all over the place. More formations ready. Well, these want to string me to the south, so let's go that way. And let's go that way. I'm keen for these to carry on towards the CVs. The Berlins are a little bit mal deployed as well. So yeah, what have we got ready? So that looks like a very generous strike from the Otto and some fighters and more torpedo bombers from the August from Pacifal. They would reach at 11 if they're coordinated. Yeah, you see, I mean, that's such a huge penalty. Nine o'clock or nearly 11 o'clock. I think we'll go for the nine o'clock. And let's uh, launch them. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's exit that. So, so far so good. Um, yeah, there are some more ships around about there. Heaven knows what they are. Oh, yeah. I think I'd like the Bremens to go and support the runes and just check the time. Five more minutes. I was just worried about um, the runes becoming uh, out of command control and going all over the place, but hopefully five more minutes will be fine, even if they do start to do weird stuff. More formations ready. So we've hit the heavy cruiser with the rune with its nine inch guns. Nice. Uh, unsighted fires nine and gets a, a hit on the blucher. That's much less fun. The splinter da damage. Um, let's just check the blucher. Current speed nineteen. Yeah, speed seems fine. Okay. Yeah, there it goes. Out of control. So yeah. Twenty-eight and these guys only twenty-five. I feel these probably twenty-eight as well. As well as these. Which is the maximum C state. Unless that's changed, let's just check. Yep, 28. So there goes the rune turning south. That's, you know, it's not the worst thing. Let's bring the Blucher round. Sorry, the Blucher, the Berlin. So, yeah. Reportedly another carrier. It's fine that the carrier, I suppose the carriers are quite distinctive, but none of these other ships are really being detected main thing is I'm keeping out of harm's way from torpedoes. I'm launching some strikes. First one of which probably went in completely the wrong direction, but that's fine. Here comes the all important Dawn. And, and actually, now they actually may be able to score against us because we are in the daylight and they're in the gloom of uh, the Dawn light, but that should change. This means I can bring the rune back under control. Hurrah. Move the Berlin down, move the rune more this way because it's firing and it hits a carrier. I can't ask any more than that. Well done, rune. Uh, oh, and there's a TR. So this lot might well be the convoy. Wonderful. So let's just review. There's a CV reportedly down here. A couple of light cruisers, probably another. There's a, uh, a light cruiser here, possibly with a whole squadron. This is a merchant. Don't know about this. This is now identified as a battleship. This presumably is another battleship. 
There's a light cruiser and a carrier. Um, another heavy ship. Another heavy ship. A couple more. Probably light cruisers. A heavy cruiser. A carrier and another carrier. And probably another battleship. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four battleships. One, two, three, at least four, at least carriers. Could be fleet, could be light. Seems like a, a good opportunity. I'm just going to zoom out and check that these guys are far enough away. Yeah, they are about 50 miles away, so I'm reasonably happy with that. So let's let's let us stay organized and keep it together. Let's see how they operate right. So that's my sighting range. So they're just over the horizon. So from the, um, the bridges, they just look like whole piles of smoke. Let's zoom out ever so slightly. Just check on my gunnery. So we're getting, you know, three, four percent. You know, there's a Radar guided, they are, you know, very, very good. We've taken a little bit of damage already. Concerningly, the grass bay is down to 27 knots, but otherwise fully functional. The Vonda Tan is going quite slowly for, I don't know, reasons. Probably still recovering from that excessively tight corner curve that I sent them through. Uh, Graf Spade doesn't seem to be firing at anybody. Come on, guys, you've got lovely 16-inch guns. Let's, uh, let's get them shooting. Okay. Uh, Hardship fires with Graf Spade, gets another hit. Let's just see how that's doing. Seem too bad. Let's straighten out the Garoon and the Blucha. Now, because everything's at 28 knots, there really is no sort of major speed advantage. So just a couple of destroyers there being a bit cheeky. Oh yeah, they're definitely coming for me. So, all right. So the Bremen and friends is having a go at them. So let's just straighten them out and see um, if they can do it. And some of our secondary armament has hit them, which is fine and dandy. Oh yeah, two Derwent class destroyers. I would imagine. Eight torpedo tubes. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the worry. So that might, as soon as I see them turn, that's definitely going to make me want to turn away. He's got the um, heavy uh, cruiser shielding the destroyer. Destroyer, the carrier. Okay, there they're doing their turn. One good turn deserves another. Point of phrase. Let's just get them to do that. And then this one is also getting into some sort of launch position. I'm going to keep the Berlin going straight ahead. But I think I'm going to have to turn the rune and the blucher away as well. Okay, let's just change the course for the Berlin a bit. So I'm really just keeping things into contact and I'm waiting, I guess, for those first airstrikes to arrive. Um, let's see if I can see them. Oh, okay, so there's one there. 
uh, they probably will miss because they were going to go to the north on the assumption that these guys were going in a northerly direction, which they don't seem to have done. And let's see if I can see some more. Okay, so that seems to be, yep, another strike going ahead, which is lovely. So two strikes in the air so far. I'm probably going to turn these guys now cause, um, and do that together because they probably are getting quite a lot of heat. That's just fine. And turn the villains south. They are escaping the torpedo attack, and they are as well. On these big battles, particularly gunnery battles and carrier battles, there is so much you have to keep in mind to keep things straight. And there are strike force going in. So that feels like time to straighten out and put the turn together off and probably straighten out here too. I'm happy with these. Moving away. There we go. First one's in. Let's see what they can do. I'm going to take these off turn together so they form a better line. Ah, right, our first actual detail. An invincible class, a centurion class. Okay, and medium damage. And medium damage. Well, that's the kind of damage I like to hear. Oh. I'm sending the the graph space south, and I think the runes south as well, just to uh, keep that five inch hit on the centurion, and another five hit inch hit on the centurion. The centurion must be suffering. Uh, and yeah, three. Okay, well, that's all a bit underwhelming. So let's see where they go. Actually, let's just zoom in and see if we can see how they're going to attack. There. Nope, nope, they've gone up. Oh, mind you, lots of hits, but they're all five inching, um, which is, you know, neither use nor ornament, except for the Luca which appears to have hit a Centurion up here. Now, interestingly, here is, wow, I mean, it's really hard to make sense. Let's mark this up. Okay, so from these reports, here is a carrier. Here is a carrier. And the other two that was reported earlier seem to have vanished. Here is a merchant, and here, and here, and here, and here, uh, and here, possibly there, here as well, and here, and then here, and here are battleships. All, oh, this is a heavy cruiser, reportedly, this is a heavy cruiser. Obviously, there's issues possibly around this one, but I mean, it could be a battleship, could be a um, could be a transport, for all we know. So yeah, scattered about, but I think we can see that the heavier ships are concentrated in the south, and the softer ships are concentrated in the north. That's kind of a useful analysis. I mean, just for completeness, let's have a look at the light cruiser. So here, 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 here. And here, so there's quite a few light cruisers there. So here and here. And I think that's 
for the light cruiser. Oh, and another one there. Oh, and this reportedly is a heavy cruiser as well. But that doesn't really change the picture. So yeah, that really helps with the plan because now I can see that the battle cruisers should continue on a southward trajectory to interfere with these heavy ships and draw their fire, whereas the Rune should, with some cruisers and support, should definitely go and have a little look at this northern group. There are quite a lot of light cruisers there, but yeah, that seems to be a nice target-rich environment. I don't know where the um, strike's going to go, whether it's going to go for the carrier up here. As I say, there were some other carriers reported, but they seem to have evaporated for the moment. So let's step away from the plotting table and put this new plan into action. And with the uh, Bellins as well. Okay, let's just zoom out slightly and await. And they are approaching. Approach away. So, oh, we've attacked a uh, heavy cruiser. But I'm struggling to get these light cruisers out of the way. So I'm going to send them up and I'm make, making them turn together because uh, obviously they're interfering with the fire of the, uh, the battle cruisers as well, which is unhelpful. No hits from that uh, strike. So let's go and think about launching a new strike. Oh, quite a few unreadies, uh, which probably needs to be sorted out. So let's get those two and let's do this one and make it heavy. So let's get these two and at the target, let's zoom out a little bit and assume that they're still heading in this southerly direction and launch them. Hmm, let's cancel it. Let's ask ourselves so 917, 930. Yes, let's uh, let's coordinate them. Launch and let's prepare this second strike and coordinate them and Tell them to get themselves sorted. Let's go over to the second carrier group. Let's ready another strike package. But not send them off just yet. Just wait for the Peter Strasser for some of these planes to return. Okay. So that's got the cycle, the churn of uh, stuff. You can see there's another wave coming in led by the escorts, then the dive bombers, then the torpedo bombers. Okay, so here, these guys just need to get out of the way. I'm deliberately putting the Berlins and the Runes into harm's way, but this is a target-rich environment. It'd be nice if you could just suppress the smoke a bit sometimes, because it can uh, get in the way. I'm desperate, yeah, to get them out of the way. They seem to be concentrating fire. I mean, they're really close. I mean, under 9,000 yards. I should be thinking about turning these away, but the British seem to be crossing their own T. Uh, amazingly, the Invincible says that it's light damage. It had been heavy before. Um, the Centurion is medium, but on fire. Well, we like on fire very much. So, yes. Okay, let's push it forward another minute. Finally, the Bremens start to get out of the way. Some of these destroyers, well, actually, let's, let's, I was going to say some of these destroyers could form up to make a torpedo attack, but I'll keep them in reserve. I want to see uh, if any of these um, sort themselves out with air attacks. That's a bit of bad news. Stuttgart torpedo tubes hit, torpedoes explode, fire started. Ouchy. I mean, I did let them get much, much too close. It's uh, all my fault. I'm going to have to go to the order of battle, actually, and see if I can extricate the Stuttgart. The Bremen's not looking too healthy either. Yeah, let's see. 
apparently the beta said it had improved return to base. So let's see if that has uh, really taken place. Well, it's actually at least gone in the right direction, so that's nice. The Invincible has heavy damage now, and the Centurion is still on fire and is slowing down. So a bit of action around the cap. Let's see if they get through. And of course, here you go. Four hits from the Graf Spey against the Invincible. And three hits from the uh, Graf Stauffenburg against the Invincible as well. Yeah, that's, that's got to hurt. Let's see if we can replicate that again. Here they go. So another hit and another two hits from Bitcoin. So three hits more on the um, Invincible and a hit on the Centurion. So and they're clearly turning away a bit. So that's, um, that's sorted those out a little bit. I'm going to take this turn away together and push there. So there's this good hope, medium damage. I don't know if anybody else is firing at it. No, not really. So this definitely feels like time to unwind one of these squadrons and make them make their presence felt. This cheeky destroyer, we're going to try and ram and see where that brings us. A little bit of air to air combat and another big hit on the Centurion. Just push it on. Stuttgart is suffering. Let's see if I can bring the Stuttgart under more reasonable control. Oh, well, its speed is zero anyhow, so yes, ouch. Some torpedoes just seem to have gone through there. Heavy damage on the Invincible. Uh, I can't see the Centurion. Actually, there's a good hope here, which is medium damage. What on earth happened to the Centurion? It didn't sink, did it? That'd be too much to... Ah, uh, ah, there it is. And the Centurion now has light damage, having had medium damage and being on fire. I don't know. I doubt that somehow. So, ah, there's an Anson. 16-incher, good old classic Nelson-style design from the mid-20s. Excellent. So... So what I'd really like is to sink something because I sort of feel that we are close to the end of the uh, first phase of the battle, probably the second phase of the battle. First phase, nighttime meeting, second phase, early morning, where we hope to get dominance. Yes, the Stuttgart is a goner. Sorry about that. But that's, you know, really neither here nor there. I feel I need to open the range with the battle cruisers again. We are only 7,700 yards away from the heavily damaged Invincible, 11,000 from the um, Centurion, and there are some of these destroyers. So actually, I'm going to order them to turn away together. I, you know, shame because it obviously ruins the gunnery. Up here, we have the Berlin and the Munchen and the Breslau. Heading towards these merchants, and we have the Rune and the Blucher. I'm just going to turn them together, just in case this Derwent is trying to muck about with torpedoes. And let's carry on. Oh, well, there you go. It's uh, only a heavy cruiser, but it's all good fun. Let's see about another airstrike. Let's keep them coming. So not a lot is ready from the bigger carrier division, but from here, oh, there's plenty. So some fighters, some torpedo bombers, and some dive bombers. Send them to, hmm. They're kind of going into two clumps now. So. This carrier cruiser merchantman clump and the bigger ship clump. So I, I think I'm going to put it into the bigger ship clump. And just to the south, it's only 48 miles. They're all ready, I believe. 
of exceeding the old um, strike. So the difference between coordination and not coordinating is trivial. So I'll send in the fighters and the torpedo bombers and launch them. And then I will pop in the dive bombers and launch them too. Let's just zoom out slightly. Oh, in fact, we've gone too far and they've um, decided to retreat and the Munchen has swallowed a torpedo, which is a great shame. So I'm going to send them down too. And then with the Bremen, I'm going to turn them and get everybody to follow. Uh, these guys can come round and have a serious torpedo attack. There we go. So really just opening up the range. I mean, they're all pounding the Invincible. I don't believe it only has medium damage. But I definitely want this blue line to uh, push out quite a bit. Thank you. There we go. So that's a bit more like it. So I can straighten up the battle cruisers. Turn off the turn away together. Leave these guys to follow in the wake. And probably bring these destroyers back into a more reasonable position. I have to say the air attacks so far. Okay, so there's some more there and some more there. Haven't been wildly impressive. They're still 40 miles away, which is good enough. Yeah, as I say, if something would have the good, if the enemy would have the good manners to allow something to sink, I would call it for this episode. All right, so the Invincible on fire and. Oops. And heavily damaged reportedly now. Hopefully, yeah, we are outside of uh, torpedoage. I don't know where the rune and the uh, where the cruisers up here are going. I suppose they're staying away from the um, Good Hope. See how many torpedoes they fired. Not not a huge amount. So I'm going to just bring in the destroyers, I think. Oh, no, actually, let's bring them back. Done enough to take us out of range. I'm just slightly, perhaps, starting to circle. It's annoying in 1947 the rune here which is 27,000 yards away is now completely out of my control you know this isn't Jutland anymore actually they are launching quite a few torpedoes now let's just see yeah okay I'm gonna pop them back onto AI and uh, encourage them not to use everything okay here we are coming in The, we're definitely circling round underneath the British force. Oh, of course, I didn't quite realise we'd moved out of night time, but we hadn't actually fully moved into dawn uh, proper. we have been fighting this whole thing in the uh, pre-dawn light. And there's some more approaching. Ruin is... Taking a little bit of a pounding. 22%. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, um, not too bad. Let's hope that that now means, yes, it's back under control. Welcome back. Munchen at 
69% definitely has to be dispatched. Hatch. Yep. So the rune and the blucher come down and Berlin come down again. Actually, oof. Let's, let's have a little plot again and see what we're doing. We've lost eyeballs on the um, northern group, which is unfortunate. Actually, I've gone a bit too far away from contact, and I've got quite a few that I don't know what they are anymore. So let's let's go about and come in a bit. Still nothing major from any of the air attacks. The uh, Centurion is proving tricky. Ooh. Do I want to adjust the final strike location for these? Say yes and click on the map to adjust. So, yes. And let's go for here. Okay. Aircraft having a heavy time of it. Okay, there's our destroyers going. Ouch. So there is DD-57 taking a torpedo hit. So, yeah. Ouchie, that's... And that's the torpedo range. So I'm not entirely sure how that happened. What are these guys doing? Let's take them off AI control because they're obviously doing something strange. Hmm. Concerning. Enemy ship unidentified hit by a torpedo. Yes. Um, hmm. Tricky. Tricky. I'm just going to have a little look at the carrier situation. Not much in the main carrier group that isn't flying or coming back. And another strike here that is ready. Coordination adds 13 minutes, which is okay. So get them launched all right i'm gonna pause it at the moment it's um it's quite tiring when with the lethality of weapons that you're kind of on the edge of something awful happening and so you have to you know not go too crazy but then um equally it's quite difficult at range to find out what's really really happening if i zoom in so you know i've lost Cruiser had a light cruiser had another light cruiser seriously damaged and lost a destroyer. So on the face of it, that's not gone too well. I believe this invincible, which is sometimes is heavy damage and now is on medium damage, but it's ten knots on fire. I think that's taken a lot. That one seems to be fine. The Centurion only light damage. The Hood. Uh, Heavy cruiser, medium damaged. Not got through to, oh, and there's an Anson here, light damage. Not got through to any of the carriers that reported, but now they're not reporting them. And up here, these destroyers have been keeping me at bay, but there seems to be some rich targets. So I should probably press on back with them in the second episode of this battle. So I hope you've enjoyed, after all the long preparation, some actual fighting. It's It seems to be going reasonably well. I'm not too concerned. Um, my only major mistake, I guess, was forgetting that when night goes, you go through half an hour of dawn. The time is so eight hours. So the time is 7.46 in the morning and a 
full eight hours to play for. So hopefully in the second phase, we should get some decisive results. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.